What's up YouTube, Hard Reset King here. I'm going to show you how to hard reset the new Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Now this model is manufactured for AT&T, but this procedure will work for any carrier, AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint. So the first thing I'm going to want you to do is uh, remove the battery from the phone and kind of let it sit for about five minutes or so. Well, not five minutes, give it about a minute maybe. Uh, hard resetting a phone is a great tool um, you know, to prevent anybody from getting your information if you plan on selling your phone. Um, you know, it's also useful if your phone's memory is getting kind of jammed up and you're just looking to, you know, for a fresh start. So the first thing I'm going to want you to do is put the battery back into the phone. Close it up. Look for the power button on the right hand side of the phone, the volume up and down key on the left side, and the home button right there in the middle. Press and hold the volume up, home, and power for about 10 seconds. Release the power button when you see the Samsung logo. You'll see that it's initiating the reboot or the recovery booting. There you go, you'll see the Android. Give it maybe about 10 seconds for the Android recovery menu to appear. There we go. Depending on the actual content of the phone, it may take longer for some phones, but it'll eventually appear. And now, once you see the Android system recovery menu, use the volume up and down key to scroll through this menu and use the power button to select. Uh, as you notice, I went to wipe data factory reset. I'm going to scroll down to delete all user data. It'll initiate the wipe. Should be fairly quick. Mine was quick because it's there's nothing on the phone. Uh, Back to the recovery menu, press the power key to hit reboot system now, and there you go. Your phone is back to its factory state. Now, with the Note 4, I know Samsung has got some new um, extra security. Just ensure that you've removed your Samsung account if you're looking to you know, change ownership on the device because your Samsung account will still be embedded in the phone, and it'll ask you for the actual Samsung account information to actually get into the phone. So. You know, owners of the phone, remove and sign up your Samsung account before you uh, give up your phone. And that should be it. So the phone will continue to boot, and um, that's it. Now, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more hard reset videos. Thanks for the views, and if you got any comments, leave them in the comment section below.